A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. With social distancing restrictions in place, Zoom get-togethers have become the new normal for most of us. These activities act as anchors in the choppy waters we're all navigating at this time. They remind us why ritual is important to human life. Bea Voce is a producer who creates memorable public experiences, and she believes that regular socializing is the energizing activity that sustains us through life and should be viewed as unskippable. In order to feel connected, we need to feel seen, heard, and valued. An anchor is created simply by spending quality time with people who see, hear, and value you. But Bea, how do we create our own anchors of connection? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> the most powerful way to create an anchor is through ritual. Now, I know when we think about ritual, we generally think about religion or sacred ceremony, but today I want to redefine ritual as something that's not necessarily religious or sacred but instead something that we're already doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The key to making ritual such a powerful tool for connection is that ritual is repeated action plus intention. When you combine repeated action and intention, ritual becomes ingrained in you just like habits do. The best places to find ritual are with your friends and families, in your intimate relationships, and within your communities. Now, we've been gathering around fires forever to storytell and connect. For me and my girlfriends, our couches act as the metaphorical fire that we gather around. Every Monday night, we throw on our leggings, we head to one of our houses, we pour ourselves some rosé, we pile onto the couch, and we just talk. We've ritualized Monday nights as a time where we come to connect and fill our tanks for the rest of the week. And while plenty of Mondays, we're coming and we're talking about the things that are exciting and going well in our lives, but on lots of Mondays, we come with our tanks empty. Whether that's the small storms that have built up, just daily wear and tear, or the bigger storms, like going through a divorce or a miscarriage. But whether we're grieving or celebrating, we've ritualized Monday nights as our anchor of connection. After Monday nights, I head over to my partner's house, and we have a ritual that we've been doing for the past year or so, where before bed, we each say, the thing I love about you most today is and then we both say something really kind about one another. Now, easy enough to do when we're feeling in love. Not that easy to do when we're in a fight. <laughs> in fact, when we first started this and we were in a fight and I would be angry, it would generally look like this. Hey, babe, do, do you want to do the thing I love about you, Ma? No. <laughs> okay, do you want to just like try it? Psst, psst, not right now. I'm not in the mood. Okay, maybe just, maybe just once. Okay. The thing I love about you most today is how your eyes sparkle when you're wrong and I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> but what I could have never guessed this ritual would do is expand my capacity for kindness and compassion. And now, when we're in a fight, sometimes I even say the thing I love about him most first. <laughs> it's this ritual that has carried us through our storms. So when our fights could just as easily disconnect us and leave us both feeling lonely, instead, we've ritualized our anchor of connection. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Salt Lake City. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Bayer's talk and more at TED.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.